Hey, welcome back to Tasting Trussel with Roberto. Today we're gonna have a wonderful appetizer play for you. It's called Traza Veggie Nachos. All right, know your traditional nacho, a little bit more healthier. I'm gonna go through the ingredients. So if you have a get together, you're gonna watch a big game. Uh, it's something healthier and different than people are used to. So let me show you what we're gonna use today. So we have some golden beet already roasted. Here we have some cucumber and we're gonna chop that one. We have one medium carrot, lightly sliced. We have an apple. And then we have one jalapeno. And we're gonna slide that one thin too. And then we have from Traza, our tzatziki sauce. I'm sure you're familiar from past episodes. So we have original hummus, best hummus in town. And we have the garlic tahini sauce. And then we're gonna use the traditional tabbouleh. And also, this is the first time we're using this product. This is uh, pita chips. So we bake them, much healthier for you, and they're delicious, crunchy. Halloumi. So you probably never heard of halloumi before. So halloumi is a Middle Eastern Mediterranean cheese, semi-hard, uh, made with uh, goat uh, milk, usually. Uh, this one here is a mixture of goat and cow's milk. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice it and we're gonna fry them. So it helps high temperature and it's delicious. So I had it both ways. We used to, you know, when, for breakfast, when we do a, <clears throat> a dish called, uh, what do they call? They're fava beans. Anyway, uh, so we slice them and we fry them and it's so good. And it's called full, by the way. That's the name. We put the fava bean with garlic and lemon juice and salt. Oh man. And then we eat it with pita bread. So good, so good. All right. So let me slide the cheese and then we're gonna go fry them. All right, so I have it on medium right now to get warm. I'm gonna lower it to medium low and I'm gonna put just a teaspoon of fresh olive oil here. That's all we need. Okay, and now we're gonna place the slice Halloumi. Oh, I love the sound. It's probably gonna take about three to four minutes per side. Just keep an eye on it, okay? Uh, I lowered the temperature a little bit more. And just don't touch it, just leave it there until you start seeing a little bit of browning on the bottom of the cheese. As you can see, it's not melting. Okay, so it's been about four minutes. I can see a little bit of browning on the bottom. So I'm gonna flip it. And when you're working with oil, make sure that you flip it away from you, okay? So let me show you. See this piece here? We're gonna go that way. I know there's not much oil here, but when you Trust me, you go against. This looks so good, guys. And you can play with the temperature on your stove. I have to put mine a little bit higher because it was not getting brown. So I'm gonna lower it back again. And we're gonna let it cook for another two or three minutes. Okay, so I think we're done. We're gonna turn it off. And I'm gonna transfer to a bowl that has a little bit of paper towel, but we don't have too much oil, so. But just in case, God, look at how gorgeous they look. All right. Hey guys, you have to try this halloumi. This is so delicious. And all I did is open the package, it's nice and thick, Put a little bit of olive oil, just a drop on the pan, and fry it for about four minutes per side. And it will change the way you look at cheese. All right? So give it a try. Okay, we're gonna put it together. 
So we have a bowl, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to spread the hummus. This is the original hummus. We're going to spread it in the bottom of the bowl, the whole container. This is 10 ounces, by the way. Just work it around with your spoon. All right. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add half container of your looking good already look all right so now we're gonna drizzle some tzatziki just stir it well could they settle you know when they're on the counter in the on the shelf so stir it well and just with a single spoon you're just gonna drop a little bit all over I think that's enough and we're going to do the same thing with the tahini sauce, the garlic tahini. A little bit thinner, so this one's going to do better. There we go. That's what I want. This is the sauce that we use for falafel. And you can use it for fish. It's so good with fish. My in-laws, that's how he likes it. Okay. So now... I'm gonna start with a cucumber. So just put it all over. Okay. Then we're gonna go with the carrots. And these are thin sliced carrots. Give a nice beautiful color here. Okay, now the beets. Now, if you don't find golden beets, you can use the, you know, the purple ones, except that they bleed. So make sure that you're careful putting around just not to uh, the plate to take over with a with a color all over. So, but if you find the golden, those are better. All right. So now we're gonna add the rest of the tabule. And make sure that you don't cover all the beautiful color from all the other ingredients because you want it to be a beautiful presentation, very appetite. Now, are we ready? Yes. Look what we have here. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, this is golden. People will fight for this. So, And then we're going to drizzle a little bit more of the tzatziki. And also a little bit more of the garlic tahini sauce. And all of these trusted products that we're using today, you can find it everywhere. So if you don't see it on your local market, ask them to carry it, okay? They can do that. They can call us and we'd be more than happy to, to start supplying to them so it'll be close to you and your family will enjoy it. All right. What do you think? Huh? All right, guys. That's how it looks. So to serve it, we're just going to put some pita chips on the side here.
And there you have it. A beautiful nacho style, trasa style nachos. For your next get together, super easy. You're gonna taste uh, all the beautiful fresh ingredients that we use, especially the cheese. Again, it's gonna be a game changer, I promise you. So enjoy it. Thanks again for tuning in another episode and uh, we'll see you next time. Stay safe. Hey guys, and one more thing. The recipe called for apple, sliced apple. You don't have to do it, but if you like a little bit of crunch, go ahead and do it. I'm gonna put a little slide here because I forgot to do it earlier. And also it gives a nice little color. So. Oh yeah, I think this looked awesome. I think the apple was needed, you know that? Yeah. Okay. There you have it, one more time. Enjoy it.